Hello everyone, Coin Metallurgist here. I hope you're all having a great day. Yesterday I made a video where I unboxed a whole lot of world silver. Um, I've decided that I'm going to just slowly go through this and show you uh, the, the coins in a little bit more detail and explain to you what they are. So today I'm going to show you two coins from France and I'm going to save the best for last, at least in my opinion. So we're going to look at this one here first. This is a, a one and a half euro coin from 2005 and it is a commemorative for the 2006 FIFA World Cup. And so it says, uh, you know, Cup of the World of La FIFA, so FIFA World Cup. Um, and I think this might be the city Alagame where they were going to have it. They were going to have it in Germany. Um, but what this says right here is France champion of the world in 1998. So I guess the last time uh, prior to 2006 that France had won the world, the FIFA World Cup was 1998. So they're kind of celebrating that. And it has a, a smooth edge. And looking at it, I don't think there's any lettering on the edge. Yeah, that's correct. No lettering. So um, this coin is 90% silver and it's 22.2 grams. And so that makes it just over $10 of silver um, at the time I'm recording this video. Of course, that changes constantly. So when you're watching this video, it's probably not um, exactly accurate. And the other French coin I want to show you here is a 100 franc coin from 1986. And this is commemorating the 100 years of the Statue of Liberty. Um, and... France actually uh, gave the Statue of Liberty to the United States, so they are they commemorated almost as much as the United States does. This capsule is cracked, and we have some uh, purple toning right here on the edge where it's um, cracked. I'm planning on probably taking these coins out of the capsules anyway, so I can put them in two by two mylar flips. Um, that way, they fit better into my collection. I just I don't know how to store coins in capsules well. Um, when I started looking into this coin um, in preparation for making this video, I knew this coin was the proof coin, but what I didn't know is France actually made the proof version of this coin a different silver content than the non-silver, than the non-proof coin. So the um, normal coin is 90% silver and the proof version of this is 95% silver. So this is actually a separate um, catalog number, kind of. It has an A after it. Um, I consider that a separate catalog number. And, it, and they only made 18,000 of these proofs. So it makes it significantly um, less common than the uh, non-proof, which they made over 4 million of. They actually also made a one that's twice as thick, and it's 30 grams instead of the 15 grams this one is. So there's actually two coins that I'll probably look at getting that are very similar to this coin at some point in time. The uncirculated one, which is uh, more common than this, and 90% silver instead of the 95% silver, and then also the one that's twice as thick. Um, but I think this is a pretty cool coin. I um, am pretty pleased with it. I, I enjoy it. Um, I, I'm happy to get some European silver coins, even though they're not... Uh, terribly old um, and this kind of goes along with the uh, Olympic coins that I'm going to start trying to get some of just they're really cheap they're easy to get I didn't pay a whole lot for these two coins like I said um, some of these coins I didn't even pay what the silver was worth in them um, but thanks for watching hope you enjoyed taking a look at these two French silver coins please uh, like the video comment below yeah, and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I appreciate your support of my channel, and I'll see you all next time.